All right, there you have it. Time now for our next community conversation. We are joined by Melanie Benjamin, Executive Director at the Center. Hi, Steve. All right, Melanie, welcome back and congrats after four years as the philanthropy director, now the executive director. So what prompted the change? Uh, Peter Thompson, 24 years of community service, uh, let us know in January that he was going to be um, taking advantage of all the things that he learned in 24 <laughs> years and, and to actually age in a healthy way and spend time with his family. So after 24 years, he um, gave us an opportunity to do a search and um, I threw my hat in the ring because this is an amazing organization. Um, Charlottesville, Admiral County and the five surrounding counties are just so fortunate to have this nonprofit as part of our community. And I was thrilled to have been selected to to lead us in the next years. The next 24 years. The next years, 24 right? years, absolutely, absolutely. Well, he certainly deserves it. And yeah. Con and yeah. congrats. If for some reason you're watching, you should be relaxing somewhere. There. I hope he is, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about, you guys are here every week. Yeah. Um, some people may be just joining mm -hmm. us or have aren't as familiar with you. Um, share what the center does. Uh, we only have a few minutes, so we can't talk about the hundred plus activities. I won't However. go through. I won't go through uh, every hundred right. and every hundred and fifty that we do. Um, so nonprofit, uh, been around since 1960. Um, our job is to support healthy aging of older adults, which includes people like myself, people over 50 years of age. Um, we're really talking about 60,000 people in the six surrounding counties. Um, what's it look like to age in a healthy way? It's building your network of relationships, um, going for walks, reading books, engaging with your community, volunteering, um, supporting yourself to be as healthy as you possibly can be and also to have those interactions in your life that are most meaningful to you. Um, we know that healthy aging is 20% DNA and 80% choices that you make. So you really don't have the excuse of like, well, I'm gonna roll the deck and you know, the 20%. The 80% is the stuff that you can really make a difference in. Nice. Um, anyone in particular you think would uh, benefit from the programs that you guys offer? Well, what's great about the center is you start off with first, it's a community center. So while we serve older adults, 50 and, and older, um, look at this as a community center. So you don't have to be a member to go in and um, participate in 20% of our programs are free and open to the public. Those are things like Thursdays Around Five, which is a live band, um, that starts at 5.03, it's Thursdays around 5. Um, we have food trucks, we have concert series, we have lecture series, we have movies regularly. Um, this is really about impacting what community can look like um, and serving the needs of 50 and better as we do it. It's a great, great, great organization yeah. as people who have uh, followed us over the last few years and yeah. know well. Um, how can people learn more if they're just becoming familiar? So um, you would go on the website, which is the centerseville.org. And if I can put in a plug, we are celebrating Peter's 24 years on the oh, 15th good. of November from 3.30 to 5.30. Um, so it's an open house at the center. And I hope the community comes and says thank you for his amazing work. Okay, well, we'll say it here. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for everything you continue to do. And Thanks. we'll see you soon, I know. I appreciate the time. Casey.